how does PD yeah, kind of bad. deal like when Nick's assassin's in the four roll? I always have this kind of you know toe curling moment when there's no setup stun. Slow down there. A little bit by Kezu, finds the regen rune, but Puppy's here ready and waiting. The damage comes through onto the Nyx Assassin, but Milan tethers across. Io might be in trouble now, though, with no tether available. Puppy, a couple of seconds until he's got that frostbite up. He needs a couple of mana now, he's got it as well. Milan, no tether for two seconds. A couple more hits and he's dead. Oh no, the miss! Oh, okay. The hammer drops. <laughs> Kezu's Omni Knight will get the. I just took a quick look at bottom lane as well. Kezu is running at Gato non stop. They've left the Juggernaut in a 1v1 now because these supports have had to rotate, but look at that purification just being thrown out. Aim for the face of the Juggernaut. Garter has yeah. his, his... He's got his work cut out from in this lane. This 1v1 is not fun at all. But it's maybe... It's not even a 1v1, man. It's a 2v1. He's got Arcane Aura. Oh, that's not true. fair. That's true. <laughs> like, look at that. He's just going to kill him. That's true. Three, four. Is there a bash? Oh, of course there's a fucking bash! Okay! Okay! J4 just wanted to TP. MP might even have this kill. Two more. Uh, yeah, he. Okay, sure. Honestly, sure. Honestly, he deserved that. Let's, let's be honest. <laughs> you don't do that in front of Troll. You know you know what's going to happen. Now able to get into that hand of Midas, and now looking for a Solar Crest on the OD against the TA and Juggernaut, while bottom lane Yapsor. In they go again. The fish is there, but Kezu just propels himself up. Another TP from the Dark Tier will fly through onto the Tier 1, but Kezu has the GA before the Omnisize pops out with a good stuff from the Assassin with a vacuum there as well. They'll bring down Kezu, and Puppy has to Treat. The frostbite out, but Puppy is looking to die. 33 has dropped the wall, and in comes mid one. The fish is perfect. The damage not quite good enough, though. Garter gets the spin off again. Perfectly timed from them, and PD, they get two very good kills and retreat without any casualties. Work. Oh, Nyx has gone in Viz under a sentry again. They see him perfectly. He goes on to this Kezu Omni, but the fish is beautiful from Yapsor with the epicenter as well. This is disastrous. The Yapsor will die. He will finally fall, but they'll lose three for the cause. Pro Dota thought it was simple. They thought they had a kill, but it was all turned around by Puppy's warding. Some question marks to be thrown out there, and it looks like with the repel onto MP, the back wall gonna miss from 3 3. MP's got the Aegis. And we see the lovely time has come out there from three of them. 3 3, Dark's here. Where's the bash? MP just needs one more hit, and he's got it. Doesn't even need to proc his passive or something. Yeah. Like then her icon's back in the fountain. I'm just like, oh, okay. Milan, you're a player. Yeah, you've taken your TA back, but secret have full control of this map now. Moving into Radiant Jungle, and maybe they find the TA, the Frostbite's there, and the TP comes in from mid one. Kaiser is fissured up, and a few hits in with a freezing field. Be able to secure their sentry drops for good measure by Yapsor, and up to high ground they go, with no buyback on Kaiser at all, it looks like here. 200 gold away from it. This is gonna be a lane of barracks at the very least. Glipper's available from PD. G4 spams out the mana burn, but they found one on the south side. Milan with a blink echo in onto two. They've killed off three. Secret looking to take this game. Easy breezy. Garter's not TPing. Garter didn't TP. He span. Stuck in the trees now and mid one. Found him with the astral. Puppy's ready with that frostbite on top of it all. And Garter, unfortunately, split push will. Only arrive at death oh, no. as Milan has apparently tried to TP in with a relocate to save his mate. But on the run, on the retreat, tail between legs, two hits is all they need. A bit more. A touch oh, more. Meanwhile, than two hits. Mid. Oh, what's happening, mid? Okay. Okay. Is this where you just call it? Is this where you just say GG? Because J4 is pretty much the last man standing. TA is farming down a bot, and J4, this is a smoke wrap around though from PD. They need this to work. They need to get a vacuum impale. They need to get Garter in with the Omni Slash. He starts with a spin, but MP, he's just going to wail into him with the bashes through. Garter is already freaking dead. The vacuum's there. The Omni Slash is around as well, but the Guardian Angel will be more than enough to keep them alive as Kaiser didn't even find a kill on the Crystal Maiden in the back end. He turns to fight against the OD of mid one, but you look at 3 3, he's dropped as well. Milan's relocate won't do a damn thing, and they call GG. Kaiser stands his ground and accepts his fate. <laughs> As the four heroes from Secret converge on the poor little Templar Assassin. No secrets to be held against them. Nope. As Team Secret... Double assassin draft not successful. This takes me back. This takes me back. So mid one will have that Drow Aura. Certainly there. Four and one against the three and zero. Oh, he's going to find him. Storm. Is he? Oh, yes. Hello. Goodbye. Wait a second. Three, Dude, three. he actually can't fly. I'm watching Radiant Vision right there. Where are you going? <laughs> Telekinesis into Frostbite. There we go with the right-click damage from MP. A few more hits and 3-3. Three, three. Ooh, gonna die. The final arrow flies. Blood. Jeez. <laughs> Maybe that just like spam spam global auras. Yeah, that's pretty sick. But honestly, six damage in the early laning stage 
you know, quantitatively might not seem a lot because it is just six. But when this, when, when like the difference between your damage and the OD's damage is minimal to begin with, you know, it's very close, and that extra damage gives you the last hit potential. Maybe tries to find a kill with the astral there. I think must be dead. I don't think he dies. One more hit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah. But Kezu up on I... top lane. Look at him go. Eleven and three. Bristleback's doing okay, but Kezu's just running at him, punching away at the Bristleback. He's got a stick up. Garter. Chasing this one down, but I feel like this is risky. They both yeah. pop salves. It's like most off laners, right? That those first couple levels are the scariest bit, but he got uh, some nice pulls through. So he just brought the creeps all the way back, was farming in behind the tower, so life was good. It feels fine. And uh, he's, he's very scared to deal with He's basically just playing on the egg again. Milan, definitely going down here. Uh, he thought he was the one hunting, but. Oh, but who? Oh. Becomes the hunted as Yapsor takes the final hit there. Puppy keeps on walking forward as well. No observer wards in hand. Maybe looking for the Keeper of the Light, but J4. He's actually been farming away pretty nicely himself on his Keeper of the Light. Farming away at jungle camps. He's free right now with one point in the Illuminate. Do decent chunks of damage over to these Ogres, but it's slow and tedious work as they're going in onto Bristleback. Garter up a top lane. Lifted up with a Tarkinesis and easily finished off. Milan's there with a Fissure, but Crystal Maiden. Low HP, still surviving through it all. Stacks over here. Kostal has not just been farming oh, himself, they the but they're going for the stacks as well for the Batrider later on. Yeah, you're right. MP. Stunned up a little bit, but the support rotation comes in so thick and fast that Yamsaw has the telekinesis and they have a frostbite. No, they don't actually. There's no mana over on Puppy. MP being burnt down and 3 3 will secure a kill on the Drow Ranger. He might turn back to fight up against these two supports as well. Puppy has the frostbite though, ready finally at long last. And 3 3, one more hit. The fairy fire keeps him alive and 3 3 oh, nice. turns. Oh. <laughs> okay, the fade bolt from Yamsaw. This jungle he actually wards up and scouts the stacks. It's been made for the dire team. Things have slowed down a lot, though. We've seen Secret just kind of go all in last game with their roaming, but it's bot lane where the dive comes through, the Fisher cancels oh the TP, him. MP's caught, the TP's come through from Yamsor as well as Puppy. MP still alive with no stick charges left, though. Maybe in a bit of trouble, but it's a turnaround with mid one joining in. The lasso's there, but the damage has already been done. One final click out from Yamsor will secure that as Earthshaker. Drops in the back, Garter. Not sure what the plan is here, but the Bristlebacks turned up to fight with J4 dropping very low. The Vortex mid one finds it, secures the kill. Yeah, now it. they have to run though, they've got to get the hell out because this Bristleback is big and he's hungry. Banning out the cool spray, six stick charges up with the Vanguard as well, but he's stuck by the tier one. Secret retreat. He's looking for a Fisher onto Puppy. They just need to land this one Fisher and maybe two Quill Sprays and they'll have it. Garter throws it out, but Puppy can turn with a Frostbite here if he wants to. He's still going to die though, but Bristleback diving in deep. He can't go that deep though. Yapsaw is in behind the tier one and he thought about it for a second. That's Arcane Aura. They need their mana regen too much. 15 and a half minute Bloodstone for mid one, no big deal. With Aegis as well on the Storm Spirit. That's, that's basically like two or three Bloodstone charges for free. Just by holding the Aegis. You can zip in without a care in the world. A very good scan from Team Secret here, but will it click red? It will. PD will come into the high ground <laughs> and they know that was pretty close. Oh, no. But the storm jumps in. He gives the vision. He found J4. He's killed instantly. He's gone. He's demolished. And now they found the OD as well. A full step away, but OD is going to sprint himself out of the urn onto him. Mid one to jump forward. The Astral's there. The Milan's Earth Jagger caught in the brink of destruction, though, with the Echo Slam doing not a damn thing. He'll fall as well, and Garter is 1v5. The lasso's up, but the Astral's stolen out by Yapsaw. There it looks like as Garter's still stacking up close space. But MP will TP away with nothing to cancel his TP. He's fine. The whole mid one, he's found the Garter. Bristleback's dead. Mid one, that's it. That is that is exactly what I was talking about. Three free Bloodstone charges just by having Aegis. Mid one just ditching right away, you know? Like, they knew that this was the next plan to come down bottom. Even though they don't have the Aegis anymore, they still just want to push all the momentum. So he just immediately says they have one option. That's push top. Let's just take that away from them. They have to fight us down bottom now. And mid one's already scouting them. The smoke is broken. Mid one's seen, but they don't go for the glass. So they've fast up Garter with the Gust and Kezu. Let's run forward, curse of the Avernus apply, the blink echoes in the background, but it's not enough damage just yet. With that eclipse though, maybe it will be. Kezu pops his ultimate to turn back around. Garth is dropping low, but they've done damage. They've killed off one. Rubik's gone. Mid one goes in deeper here with the Boston Shard is keeping him up. He's gonna have to get these kills though before he dies. He does. Three down and J4 will be the four. Four dead for PD. And even with Milan going in even deeper, gets the kill. Finally finds the Crystal Maiden of Puppy. I believe this might be. Curtains the Brodoser as they walk up high ground. Secret will take the tier three and then look for shrines. 
Well, they came to the fight. I don't know. It was kind of a weird fight. The way it went down too, where it was like there's just one v one of mid one versus three three, and uh, they were able to get a little bit of damage into secret because of that, but and it uh, did not come to fruition. Melee's down. Mid one's gonna escape for sure. They even get the full lane of racks. Three three. So is the lasso, I guess. We do know that. But uh, but he's just holding that shield. <laughs> Who does he go on? MP. Invis gets dusted. Red one zaps up onto high ground, but secret they are already here. The wrap around comes in from the shrine. MP is dropping low. The blink in with the two mana enchant yeah. and that's good. Okay, they start things off nicely. The trouble is they can't control mid one. He's in the back end. He is just destroying PD from one side to another. Kesu dropping low. He has no ult, and he will finally fall. But again, I pan my camera back to the full sprint. Mid one has killed another. Two dead to his hand, and Kaiser looks like he might be the third. But the picture down again from Yabsor, yeah. stolen and turned. They kill him off, and Kezu has somehow just killed two people while being dead with a lovely Aphotic Shield pop there. He gets a double kill, and GG is called. PD tap out. A quick and easy 2-0, taking less than an hour here for Secret. We'll take them. Mid one grabs the second stick in a taunt as well. That was pretty damn good by Secret. I gotta say, I thought Pro Dota would be able to put up a little bit of a better fight, but uh, the cheese, as Yapsor stated, it was a little cheese.